Apparently electric cars can't drive from London to Cornwall, so we're going to take the all-electric BMW iX2 from London to Cornwall. Yeah. Hi, my name's Rick Bollomir, and I've been driving EVs of all shapes and sizes for the past six years. When people tell me why they wouldn't get an electric vehicle, one excuse always rears its ugly, inaccurate head. I can't drive to Cornwall for my annual holiday. So, select car leasing has challenged me to send Dad to show you just how easy it is and explain it all without the jargon. Oh, and they've also tasked us with completing as many zero emission activities as possible. So stay tuned to see how we got on. Now here's a really good tip. Try and start every long journey fully charged. We charged up overnight, got 292 miles of range, which is 100%. Now, if we're going to our destination, this is quite interesting. So as soon as you put this in, it tells you with this magical blue bar, how far you can go on the current state of charge, which means we can easily make it. Select car leasing provided us with a suitable steed, the BMW iX2, a sporty and spacious SUV that doesn't have the biggest of ranges, but is more than sufficient for the annual Cornwall pilgrimage, AKA the Select Car Leasing Cornwall conundrum. There are various ways you could drive uber efficiently and make it in one go, but that's just not realistic. Why? Stay tuned to find out. One tool you'll need on your electric journey for stress-free navigation is the magnificent sat-map meaning you can easily locate the upcoming charger with the best amenities, or alternatively, you can make a note before you set off. Beep. Just filming on these very clever meta glasses, which means I can see everything that's happening in front of me. We've been driving for over an hour and a half now. We've used 25% of the battery. We've just stopped to have a look at Stonehenge because the kids wanted to see it. Dad, what is Stonehenge again? It's well over 100 years old. Uh, we've still got 196 miles of range left in this vehicle, which means that we could go from London to Cornwall on a single charge if we wanted to. But in reality, we are gonna stop to charge because who wants to drive for four to five hours without a single stop? There we go. Oh, bless you. Right, everyone okay in the back? Yeah. Jack, you okay? What? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We pressed on and I had the chance to test out the iX2's instant torque that all EVs provide. If you need to get out of a gap quickly, don't worry, because you've got sport. sport mode for dynamic acceleration. Ah! And remember, if the BMW iX2 doesn't float your boat, there are plenty of other brand new lease deals available at selectcarleasing.co.uk. You can even browse vehicles via their range. And of course, if you'd like to see more electrifying content, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We traveled another 85 miles before my little freeloaders started to get restless and the dreaded, I need a wee, was muttered from the back seat. We decided it was time to pull over. Having done 153 miles and over three hours on the road all in all, well over half the journey. But what if there's only two chargers available and neither work? Guided by the car and Zap map, we pulled into the Moto services with more charges than you could have dreamed of. How much battery have we got left? Very good question, Jack. We have got 43% battery remaining. We've still got 102 miles to our destination. We don't need to charge, but we're stopping to use the toilets. So we might and as well. we can get extra power. Come on, just That's charge. right, we need extra. Dad, just we need more power. Just All right. charge. Okay, just charge already. We're pulling 85 kilowatts. Uh, it's 11.32 a.m. Uh, we're already up to nearly 50% battery. We've only been plugged in for like a minute or two. So we're gonna grab a quick coffee and see how long it takes to get a coffee, charge the car up for 10 minutes, and then get it back on the road. Look at all these chargers. Tesla chargers, tons and tons of grid serve chargers, as far as the eye can see. And they've even got slower ones as well. So if you don't wanna pay top dollar for fast charging, pay a little bit less on these ones. Go, go, go. We've been here for just over 15 minutes and we've put in just over 26%. So 26% in 15 minutes, which is very good. Right, time to unplug, get back on the road. All we have to do is tap there to stop the charge 76 percent and it then sends you courtesy of power a bill at the end of the month yeah our pit stop wasn't quite f1 styly but we were back on the road as quickly as i could push my rascals along we had 87 miles left of the journey with 250 miles of range to play with thanks to our super short quick top up and most importantly stress levels at zero that was until okay quiet for a second please yeah. we yeah. did stop to yeah and i'm pretty bored yeah. and jack's fully bored is anyone ready for the beach yeah no it's a bit wet there's gonna be 10 yeah. feet sharks there mate <laughs> think sharks. about it think with your tiny mind do you want to walk the rest of the way uh no i'm fine 
Okay, we're just closing in on Newquay. And the heavens are open, hooray! Uh, and we're on some very nice, narrow country roads. Good test of this car's brake and steering. For most of the journey, I'll be sticking to Mrs. B's speed limit, which happens to be just under the national speed limit, which is great for range, by the way. But at this point, with the kids wearing our patience thin and corny side on my mind, I made the executive decision to put my foot down a bit, which alongside the downpour, of course, took a dent out of our range. But I knew this wasn't a problem due to the large buffer I'd allowed from the previous charge. We rolled into Newquay and were greeted by some stunning summertime views and crossed our fingers for a little bit more sunshine. After six hours on the road, including a stop at Stonehenge, a quick toilet break, two wrong turns and one 15 minute charge slash lunch stop, we arrived in Newquay for our family holiday with 93 miles in the tank and 36% of battery remaining. So we didn't actually need to charge at all. There were plenty of public charging options in Newquay, but in an ideal world, we'd have charged overnight on a home charger, which is the cheapest way to charge up. Holidays, especially with kids, can be wallet pounding. So we like to choose activities that involve the great outdoors and a carbon neutral as much as possible, which keeps the cost down and the kids happy. So here are some tips on how you can have a holiday that's good for the soul and doesn't cost the earth in more ways than one. Swimming, surfing, windsurfing, stand-up paddleboarding, kayaking, Jenga, sandcastles, paragliding, collecting rocks, running up the sand dunes, running down sand dunes, golf, any golf, pub golf. And if you're really bored and really awesome, beach cleanups and many, many more. A huge thanks to the Newquay Activity Centre for their help and awesomeness. If you've got any emission-free activities for us to try on our next adventure, let us know in the comments.